The Chinese consulate in New York recently hosted a roundtable discussion on China-U.S. collaboration in the performing arts. The January 11th event brought together prominent figures in the cultural sectors of each country. The recent production of the p and &E Pavilion, a 16th century opera updated by Oscar-winning composer Tan Duan at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, is an example of successful cooperation in the arts, according to Shirley Young, chairwoman of the U.S.-China Cultural Institute. This was an example of Chinese high culture, seeking to introduce and engage American elite audiences with one of China's great art forms and artists, but also interpreted in a contemporary form by Tan Dun. Young believes Tan's inventive approach helped his New York audience connect with the classic opera. Zheng Wen, a senior official with China's Ministry of Culture, said cultural exchanges with the U.S. are ready to move to a new level. Although some have lamented the challenge of selling American audiences on Chinese performing arts, Lincoln Center Festival director Nigel Redden is optimistic. Redden said American music has long absorbed different styles into an eclectic mix and will eventually do so with influences from China. In the 21st century, it will be Chinese traditional music and it will create a new amalgam that will be the accepted music of the time. It's going to be part of a kind of a universal heritage that all of us have. The arts encourage cross-cultural understanding, a principle stressed at this gathering of cultural leaders. Derek Bosco reporting from New York.